UK's new supercarrier fleet in South China Sea. Royal Navy's vital role in US Pacific pivot carrier operations in the South China Sea are a vital component of the US Navy's regular presence in the Indo-Pacific region. The United States is committed to flying, sailing and operating safely wherever international law permits, ensuring that all nations can derive benefits from the use of the maritime commons. This commitment extends to the South China Sea, a crucial waterway where approximately $4 trillion in trade traverses annually, and it boasts some of the world's most productive fishing grounds, supporting an estimated 3.7 million livelihoods. With a fleet comprising a couple of carriers, a handful of frigates and nuclear-powered submarines. Britain aspires to establish itself as a significant player, particularly in the Indo-Pacific. Even emerging superpowers acknowledge the aircraft carrier's role as a symbol of a potent blue-water navy, valued not only for its ability to project force over long distances, but also for its prestige. Last year, the British Parliament emphasised the need for a robust defence strategy in the Indo-Pacific. The Carl Vinson strike group, which left San Diego on October 12th for a scheduled deployment to the Western Pacific, has actively participated in exercises such as the Multi-Large Deck Event and Annual Exercise 2023 in the Philippine Sea. These engagements foster collaboration with Allied forces, including the Royal Australian Navy, Royal Canadian Navy and Japan Maritime Self-Defence Force, reinforcing regional cooperative efforts. CSG-1, a multi-platform team of ships and aircraft, is currently deployed in the US 7th Fleet Area of Operations, supporting a free and open Indo-Pacific. The USS Carl Vinson, a Nimitz-class supercarrier, is at the forefront of maritime security operations in the South China Sea, conducting flight operations, maritime strike exercises, and coordinated tactical training between surface and air units. In contrast to the expanding naval capabilities of China, the US and its allies are uniting against potential threats in the Western Pacific. Britain, with its nascent carrier capabilities, is viewed as a valuable asset in this coalition. The HMS Prince of Wales, one of the UK's two new big-deck aircraft carriers, is expected to assume a prominent role as an on-call strike carrier in 2024, deploying its own air group, including F-35Bs, to the Indo-Pacific in 2025. Reflecting on historical alliances, such as the US assisting the Royal Navy in the past, the dynamics are now shifting, with Britain emerging as a crucial partner in the Indo-Pacific, while not yet aligned with the US stance on defending Taiwan, the UK is gradually embracing a more active role, as highlighted in its 2021 Integrated Review of Security, Defence, Development and Foreign Policy, refreshed in 2023. Major initiatives, such as the AUKUS nuclear submarine deal involving the UK, the United States and Australia, along with the forward deployment of surface ships to the region, underscore Britain's commitment to the Indo-Pacific. The Prince of Wales and its sister ship, the Queen Elizabeth, represent the largest vessels ever built for the Royal Navy, operating in carrier strike groups. Though not comparable to the US Gerald R. Ford-class carriers, they are nonetheless significant assets for the UK in the expansive Indo-Pacific theatre. As the Prince of Wales undergoes testing on the east coast of the United States, including the evaluation of various aircraft types, it also symbolises the depth of the special relationship between the US and UK navies. The Westland 23 deployment serves as an opportunity for these highly professional allies to engage in exchanges, training and technology sharing. Notably, some US pilots and instructors are being requalified for carrier landings on the British flat top, which is homeported at Norfolk for the duration. Embark on an enriching adventure with Bulldog Audits News where every piece of information is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. Your decision to join us on this historic journey is a testament to your quest for knowledge. To amplify your engagement, ensure you never miss a beat by subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you not only stay updated with the latest insights, but also become an integral part of our community. The more, the merrier. Spread the excitement further by expressing your appreciation hit the like button and share this valuable content across your social media landscape. Let's create waves of awareness and curiosity together.
Your involvement makes the narrative richer, and we're thrilled to have you on board for what promises to be an exhilarating expedition with Bulldog Audits News. If you have any information you'd like to share with the community, please feel free to do so in the comments below. Post-Brexit Britain is transforming itself into a formidable aircraft carrier, strategically aligning towards Asia. The Prince of Wales, scheduled to be the UK's on-call strike carrier in 2024, represents a significant addition to the Indo-Pacific naval landscape. With its own air group, including F-35Bs, it is poised to contribute to regional security. As Pentagon and Indo-Pacific planners assess the potential of the new British carrier and its cohorts, it is evident that this deployment is not merely an operation, but an opportunity for like-minded allies to strengthen their bonds and capabilities in the face of evolving geopolitical challenges. As Prince of Wales completes its more than three-month testing phase on the east coast of the United States, attention is firmly fixed on the future. Post-Brexit Britain, resembling an enormous aircraft carrier, is gradually pivoting towards Asia, with Prince of Wales at the forefront of this strategic reorientation. The deployment of Prince of Wales, set to be the UK's on-call strike carrier in 2024, underscores the nation's commitment to upholding stability and security in the Indo-Pacific. In 2025, Prince of Wales is scheduled to deploy to the Indo-Pacific, equipped with its own air group, including F-35Bs. This move is not only a testament to the UK's military capabilities, but also reflects its determination to actively participate in safeguarding the region. As Pentagon and Indo-Pacific planners evaluate the potential of the new British carrier and its accompanying assets, there is a recognition that these capabilities can be honed and integrated into broader coalition efforts. The Westland 23 deployment, beyond being a mere operational exercise, is providing an invaluable opportunity for highly professional allies to deepen their cooperation. Through exchanges, training programmes and technology sharing, the US and UK navies are fostering a strengthened partnership that extends beyond individual deployments. The fact that some US pilots and instructors are being requalified for carrier landings on the UK flat top at Norfolk underlines the practical collaboration between the two naval forces. Post-Brexit, as Britain positions itself as a major player in the Indo-Pacific, it aligns with key security and defence partnerships. The 2021 Integrated Review highlighted the significance of these partnerships, including the AUKUS nuclear submarine deal with the US and Australia, as well as the forward deployment of surface ships to the region. Prince of Wales alongside its sister ship Queen Elizabeth represents a critical component of this maritime strategy, projecting power and influence in the vast expanse of the Indo-Pacific. While the scale of the UK's naval capabilities may not match that of the United States, the symbolism and strategic value of its carrier strike groups are undeniable. Prince of Wales, alongside other British assets, becomes a key factor in the complex calculations of the evolving geopolitical landscape. As China continues to expand its naval capabilities, including aircraft carriers, the presence of allies like Britain becomes increasingly crucial in maintaining a balance of power. In addition to countering potential threats, Prince of Wales also plays a diplomatic role, reinforcing the bonds between the UK and its allies. As the China-Russia naval exercises draw attention, the deployment of Prince of Wales, along with collaborative efforts with the Japan Maritime Self-Defence Force, exemplifies the united front that like-minded nations are forming in response to shared challenges. As Prince of Wales concludes its testing and preparation period on the east coast of the United States, it marks not just the culmination of a specific deployment, but the beginning of a sustained commitment to the Indo-Pacific. The evolving role of Britain, with its carriers and accompanying assets, adds a dynamic dimension to the region's security architecture. The Westland 23 deployment serves as a blueprint for future engagements, fostering cooperation, interoperability and shared strategic objectives among allies in the Indo-Pacific. Embark on an enriching adventure with Bulldog Audits News, where every piece of information is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. Your decision to join us on this historic journey is a testament to your quest for knowledge. 
To amplify your engagement, ensure you never miss a beat by subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you not only stay updated with the latest insights, but also become an integral part of our community. The more, the merrier. Spread the excitement further by expressing your appreciation. Hit the like button and share this valuable content across your social media landscape. Let's create waves of awareness and curiosity together. Your involvement makes the narrative richer, and we're thrilled to have you on board for what promises to be an exhilarating expedition with Bulldog Audits News. If you have any information you'd like to share with the community, please feel free to do so in the comments below.